welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a look using the Lisa Frank um, eyeshadow palette. So I don't know really what color I want to do. Um, so we're just going to jump into it and see what comes out of what I do. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with this green. It's called Forest. It's the dark green. And I'm going to go in and start on the outer corner. Packing it in and blending it out. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just picking colors. So I'm just going in on the corner. I packed it and then now I'm blending it out. And I'm using the Morphe M535. I actually ordered a lot more brushes from the Morphe website. They had a huge sale. I think it went on through through today, which is I think the seventh today. Um, it was like seventy percent off, so I got a lot of brushes for literally three dollars each. So we're just going to do this. After that's done and it's packed in pretty well, if you see, I'm gonna try to blend it out. Blending it out, right here, just the dark. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it in a little bit lower, just a tad. Not too dark in the inner. There we go. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and I'm gonna use the Dancing Dolphins shade and I'm just gonna go above it to lighten that up. And I'm gonna put it a little on the side. And then this one, get it more into that corner right there. All the way up to the brow. Cut my crease. I'm gonna use the Babella RG221 and I'm gonna use the Il Maquillage to cut it. Let's see how it works. I need to go in a little bit higher, right here. So next, I'm gonna set it a little bit so that I can apply the rest. Um, and I'm actually gonna use this little thing. <laughs> it's self-made um, for one of the concealers that I think a Maybelline concealer, so I just ripped it off. And you don't need a lot of setting powder for this. So 
since it is such a small spot. So just a little bit to set it. Don't ever do it because then it gets on your eyeshadow. Um, this is the Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush. And I'm just going to wipe it off. And if you want, you can go back in with the original brush on the top. And just kind of do that. Okay. Now, I'm going to use that same brush that I used to wipe off the excess powder and I'm gonna go in with the peekaboo and that's this bright green I'm gonna fill that in Ooh, it's sparkly I don't think I've used this color yet I'm gonna dust up some of that stuff. Go back in with this one just to really, really, really light it. Just tap it to add it. Okay. Then I'm going back in with my Morphe 535 and I'm going to blend it out through here. This is blending it out. And then go back in with this brush and blend it out. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the blending. It's basically just the brushes I'm doing all the work for you. And I do have to alternate from them just to get the perfect blend that I want. Let's go in with um, this Morphe brush from the um, Sweet Oasis collection. And I'm gonna go in with the Saturn Sundance shade. And I'm going to fill it in right here. I'm trying to make the blend a little better. Blend them out a little bit better. There we go. And then go back in with the this brush. I mean the shade. Okay. Okay. I'm just really packing it in. Alright. For the inside, the inner corner, I wanna use a yellow gold. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe E18 and I'm going to use the KC and K mess from shade. And it's going to be like an inner corner highlight. It's just a gold. Have the yellow. Next, I'm going to do the under eye, and I'm just going to go in with the zoomers and sorbets. And I'm going to use this small brush. It's Morphe 'm gonna be using the ill maquillage I got this as a free gift from the order that I did so I think it's a liquid liner it is so we'll see how it works
and then I'm going to put for my eyelashes. Lily Lashes Miami. I'm using the Duo Dark Lash Glue. And you can still see my eyelashes on the bottom, but I'll put a little bit of mascara on that. I also get really paranoid and I feel like they're poking me, so I always cut them extra small. I have a bad habit of doing that. I just really don't want it to poke me. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then come back. All right, so this is the finished product. If you did enjoy that look, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.